The latest in the chilling Grim Sleeper case. Serial killer suspect Lonnie Franklin is charged with murdering 10 women, but police now say they found a stash of sexually explicit pictures in his house, and they are worried that many more women could have been victims. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy is in Los Angeles with the latest. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Harry. You know, the so-called grim sleeper terrorized Los Angeles for years. He was finally caught this summer, but now police say they need the public's help because they fear he may have killed more people than they ever imagined. For more than two decades, a string of murders went unsolved. Most of the victims thought to be prostitutes and drug users, all from a gritty section of South Los Angeles. Police say the killer is this man, local mechanic Lonnie Franklin Jr., who may have even more victims. Lonnie Franklin's reign of terror in the city of Los Angeles, which spanned well over two decades, and we certainly do not believe that we are so lucky or so good as to know all his victims. Franklin has been dubbed the Grim Sleeper because police believe he took a 14-year hiatus in his killing sprees. It was his DNA on a slice of pizza that finally linked Franklin to 10 murders. When police finally arrested him and raided his home this past July, they made an alarming discovery. Hundreds of photos of women, no clue who they are or what may have happened to them. Our main concern right now is the welfare of these individuals and their identity. On Thursday, L.A. police posted the photos to a website and are encouraging family and friends to come forward. There is somebody's identity that we need to establish. There is some family in this city that goes without justice, and you will help us in achieving that for them. Franklin could get the death penalty if convicted of the 10 murders he's already charged with. Those cases may soon be solved, but now detectives are most concerned about the women seen in these 180 photographs and finding out whether or not they are still alive. These photos go back 20 and 30 years. People will have changed their appearance. People will have aged. We're very interested in identifying these individuals and speaking with them if at all possible. Franklin could get the death penalty if convicted of the 10 murders he's already charged with. Those cases may soon be solved, but it's all the others that are now haunting detectives. Now, the women in these photographs, they age, for, they age from their young teens to more than 60 years old, and nearly every single one of them is African-American. Detectives say these photos were found all throughout this guy's house, even in his car. Harry. This is uh, so creepy. It's uh, really unseemly. Do the police have a sense of whether or not the women in these photographs are alive or not? Well, they certainly hope that many of them are alive. That would be a huge number of victims, obviously. But the fact is, until they identify them, they don't really know. So they're asking for the public's help. If you think you can help identify some of them, you can see these photos at the LAPD website. You can check that out and obviously let police know if you recognize any of these women. Harry. Ben Tracy in Los Angeles this morning. Thank you very much.